What if Earth orbited a black hole at the speed of light? What if Earth were no longer circling the Sun in its comfortable orbit, but instead trapped in the gravitational grip of a black hole, racing around it at the speed of light? What would the night sky look like as our planet screamed through space faster than anything in the universe? Could life survive such a journey into the extreme depths of the cosmos? How would time itself change under the warping influence of such intense forces? In today's mind-blowing episode of TM What If, we're diving headfirst into one of the most extreme thought experiments imaginable. What if Earth orbited a black hole at the speed of light? To answer this question, we'll have to peel back the layers of space-time itself, unraveling the mysteries of black holes, the strange effects of relativity, and the unimaginable forces that govern the universe's most powerful objects. Could Earth survive the crushing gravity? Would the fabric of our reality twist into something unrecognizable? And most chillingly, what might happen to humanity trapped in a place where time moves at a different pace than the rest of the universe? This journey promises to take us to the edge of understanding where the laws of physics, as we know them, cease to function. Buckle up, because this cosmic ride is about to get wild. Let's start with the basics. What is a black hole? And how do they bend the rules of the universe in such terrifying ways? What is a black hole? Black holes are some of the most mysterious and awe-inspiring objects in the universe. They are formed when a massive star reaches the end of its life and collapses under the weight of its own gravity. This collapse causes all the star's matter to be compressed into an infinitely small point, known as a singularity. Around this singularity is a boundary called the event horizon, which marks the point of no return. Anything that crosses this line, including light, can never escape the black hole's gravitational pull. But black holes are more than just cosmic vacuums that suck up everything in their path. They also warp space and time around them. This warping, known as the gravitational time dilation effect, is one of the most mind-bending consequences of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, black holes distort the fabric of space-time itself, making time pass more slowly the closer you get to the event horizon. Types of black holes. Black holes come in different sizes, ranging from stellar black holes, several times the mass of our sun, to supermassive black holes that are millions or even billions of times more massive. The latter can be found at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way, where the supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, resides. This colossal black hole is about four million times the mass of the sun and plays a vital role in shaping the gravitational dynamics of the Milky Way. How close would Earth need to be to orbit a black hole at the speed of light? Now, let's bring Earth into this cosmic equation. For Earth to orbit a black hole at the speed of light, it would have to be incredibly close to the event horizon. To put this into perspective, let's use the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A as our example. At its event horizon, the escape velocity, the speed needed to escape the black hole's gravity, is equal to the speed of light. This means that any object, including Earth orbiting just outside the event horizon, would be moving at nearly the speed of light. For Earth to be in such a close orbit, it would have to be at a distance called the photon sphere, where light itself orbits the black hole. This distance is roughly 1.5 times the radius of the event horizon. If Earth were at this distance from Sagittarius A, it would be hurtling through space at almost 300,000 kilometers per second, the speed of light. Now that we understand how close Earth would need to be to a black hole to orbit at light speed, let's explore the drastic effects this would have on our planet and its environment. Extreme Gravitational Effects on Earth the moment Earth is captured by the gravity of a black hole, 
its environment begins to change in drastic and horrifying ways. One of the most immediate effects would be the extreme tidal forces acting on the planet. These tidal forces are the result of the black hole's gravity pulling more strongly on one side of Earth than the other. Essentially, Earth would be stretched and compressed at the same time. This effect, called spaghettification, would cause Earth to elongate as it orbits closer and closer to the black hole. The side of Earth facing the black hole would experience a far stronger gravitational pull than the far side, leading to enormous stresses on the planet's structure. Mountains would crumble, oceans would rise and fall in massive waves, and the crust of the planet would likely crack under the strain. To give an analogy, Imagine how the moon's gravity pulls on Earth's oceans, creating tides. Now, amplify that effect by billions of times, and you get a sense of what would happen to Earth as it orbited a black hole at light speed. Our planet would not just experience higher tides, but extreme stretching and deformation, possibly being torn apart altogether. Loss of atmosphere and oceans. As Earth spirals closer to the black hole, another catastrophic consequence would occur. The planet's atmosphere and oceans would likely be stripped away. The intense gravitational forces would pull the atmosphere right off the planet, flinging it into space or into the black hole's accretion disk, a swirling vortex of gas, dust, and debris that orbits the black hole. Without an atmosphere, Earth would quickly become an airless, barren rock, similar to Mars, but far more extreme. The oceans would also boil away, their water molecules torn apart by the immense gravitational forces and intense radiation emanating from the black hole. Earth's once blue and green surface would become a dry, desolate wasteland, devoid of life or even the possibility of sustaining life. With the environment in ruins, let's take a closer look at what happens to life on Earth under these conditions. Radiation and the end of life. For any form of life to survive on Earth as it orbits a black hole at light speed would be impossible. One of the main reasons is the overwhelming amount of radiation emitted by the black hole's accretion disk. As matter falls into the black hole, it heats up to millions of degrees emitting high-energy radiation in the form of X-rays and gamma rays. This radiation would bombard the surface of Earth, making it completely inhospitable. Even the most radiation-resistant organisms, such as extremophiles, would not stand a chance against the constant, intense radiation. The levels would be so high that any remaining life on Earth would be fried within seconds. In addition to the radiation from the black hole itself, the gravitational forces acting on Earth would also generate heat. The planet's crust would be subjected to such immense stresses that it would likely heat up from within, turning the surface into a molten, volcanic wasteland. Time dilation and the warping of reality. However, the most bizarre consequence of Earth, orbiting a black hole, at the speed of light would be the warping of time itself. This phenomenon known as time dilation occurs because of the intense gravitational field near the black hole. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time passes more slowly the closer you are to a massive object like a black hole. For Earth, orbiting at light speed near the event horizon, time would slow down dramatically. For every second that passed on Earth, decades or even centuries might pass for an observer far away from the black hole. This means that if you were on Earth, you would experience time much more slowly than someone watching from a safe distance. To you, everything might seem normal, but in reality, the rest of the universe would be aging rapidly while you remain trapped in a slower flow of time. In essence, Time itself would become distorted, making Earth a kind of time capsule, frozen in a strange and nightmarish orbit. This warping of time is one of the most profound and mysterious effects of black holes, and it challenges our understanding of how the universe works. With time warped and life extinguished, 
Let's dive into the final moments of Earth as it races toward the black hole's event horizon. What happens to Earth at the speed of light? As Earth approaches the speed of light, the laws of physics begin to behave in strange ways. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, as an object moves faster and faster, its mass increases. At the speed of light, an object's mass would become infinite, requiring infinite energy to keep moving at that speed. This is why nothing with mass can actually reach the speed of light. Doing so would violate the very fabric of space-time. However, in our thought experiment, let's imagine Earth somehow sustains this velocity. As it approaches the speed of light, the planet's mass increases exponentially. This increase in mass would further distort space-time around the planet, creating gravitational effects that could tear it apart. The forces acting on Earth would be so extreme that the planet might be stretched into a long, thin shape, similar to what happens during spaghettification. Eventually, Earth would reach the black hole's event horizon, the point at which escape becomes impossible. Once Earth crosses this boundary, it is doomed to fall into the black hole's singularity, where all matter is compressed into an infinitely small point. Inside the event horizon, the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. Time and space become so warped that they lose all meaning. For Earth, this would be the ultimate end. The planet, along with everything on it, would be stretched and compressed until it was nothing more than a thin stream of particles spiraling into the singularity. At this point, Earth would cease to exist in any recognizable form. It would become part of the black hole, adding to its mass and contributing to the ongoing cycle of destruction that defines these cosmic monsters. As Earth disappears into the black hole, what can we take away from this extreme cosmic journey? Crossing the event horizon. The event horizon is not just a point of no return for matter. It's also a boundary where our understanding of physics breaks down. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's effectively cut off from the rest of the universe. No signals, no light, and no information can escape from within the event horizon, making it impossible to know what really happens inside a black hole. For Earth, crossing the event horizon would be the final chapter. Everything we know about the planet, its history, its people, its entire existence, would vanish into the black hole, never to be seen again. This is one of the reasons why black holes are so mysterious and terrifying. They represent the ultimate end, a place where the very fabric of reality is torn apart. Spaghettification and the final fate of Earth. As Earth crosses the event horizon, it would undergo a process known as spaghettification. This is where the gravitational forces acting on the planet become so extreme that it is stretched into a long, thin strand of matter. Astronomers have observed this effect happening to stars that get too close to black holes. These stars are ripped apart, their gas and plasma pulled into long streams that spiral into the black hole's maw. For Earth, the same fate awaits. The planet would be stretched into a thin line of particles, eventually merging with the black hole itself. In the end, all that would remain of Earth would be a few particles of matter, lost forever in the singularity at the heart of the black hole. With Earth's destruction complete, let's take a moment to reflect on what this extreme scenario teaches us about the universe. The end of Earth as we know it. If Earth were ever to orbit a black hole at the speed of light, it would be a journey to the end of everything. Life would be snuffed out by radiation, the environment would be torn apart by gravitational forces, and time itself would become warped beyond recognition. Eventually, the planet would be pulled into the black hole's event horizon, where it would be stretched into oblivion and lost forever in the singularity. This thought experiment reminds us of the sheer power and mystery of black holes. These cosmic monsters challenge our understanding of physics and push the boundaries of what we know about the universe. 
While this scenario may seem far-fetched, it highlights just how strange and dangerous the universe can be. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey into the cosmos. If you enjoyed this episode of TM What If, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the unknown. Have an idea for the next episode? Drop it in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the mysteries of the universe.